Hello guys, welcome back to another video of Fall Guys and today we are doing a ranking video of season 4. We would say, well I would say that which of the maps or rounds I think is the best round and to the weakest one in season 4. I gotta say, I like, I really like season 4. All of it is, well most of it is uh, great maps I would like to play over or in an over again and others is like, not as bad as others but you know, there's some things I kinda didn't like. To how to rank this video, we are not gonna rank it by which one that I win a lot. If you're gonna rank it by which one is the fun, it's just pure thing of fun, and it's my opinion too. Is how I would like to keep playing this one, you know. This one, like maybe a gamer that's always will lose, but it's just fun to play, I would take it. Alright, so let's get into it. With the bottom one will be Warlon. Warlon is number seven. And the reason why it's number seven, oof, is because that I just didn't. I mean, for me, the little obstacle course is not. It's like it's it's different. It's, it's it is different, but it's like I had the same content. And that's not why I don't like it. Is it's going to the side when you jump onto a place. If it's going that like going down, you go sliding down, and sometimes you slide down to you to your fall, and you gotta respawn. And other times, you just like get bad um, platforms. There'll be a big gap, and like okay, you're done. And there's some that has, could help you, obviously, but there's some that could really, really put you down. And, and for me, it just it just I say race, and the race is not as exciting as a team game mode in my opinion for me I like team game mode it's like a mini game this one is just a race and this one just gave me frustrated each time I landed on a mini platform I keep going down so this is at 7 now we are <laughs> now we are gonna go to number 6 and number 6 will be hoverboard heroes yes Number six is Hellboard Heroes, and for me, this is a survival one, right? And it's not a challenge at all. Yes, for me, I did some dumb things, but most of the time, it's not a challenge. If I really tried, I could do this each time of the world. I just made some bad, bad decision on this, but I mean, it's not a challenge, and there's some um, tedious things in this, like. I didn't really like the um the lasers going up and down, especially the one you gotta go through. That timing is very, very difficult to do and the lasers will push you back. It's like ooh. And then when you hit the cannons, the cannons can't shoot you at all. So there's no problem over there. Sometimes you may get hit but you won't die. And then when you go to you go on the ledge and there's like a laser going up and down, the problem is not the laser, the problem is trying to get up. You will get pushed off of it, and that's a big problem. And then sometimes when you're done with it, you go forward, and the platform is not there. And I get it, you gotta wait. But sometimes you just forgot, and then you just go off. And the sense of the slide, you might go off. And then you go through the mega jump. There's a laser going up and down. And sometimes when you go up, don't jump. You go down, then jump. And I get that, you know, but still, that's a problem. And then after you did that, there's no problem because the problem will be already there. So the two lasers going on the problem is not even useful at all. And then the swinging one is so easy to avoid. It's swinging back and forth. And you go to the side. The last one's pretty cool. But that's it. It's pretty easy to do. And there's some tedious things I didn't like. But it's not the worst one. <laughs> it's not the worst one. I will play this one more than the other one. But let's get to the other one. Number 5. Skyline Stumble. Yeah. Skyline Stumble. Oof. It's not that bad. I actually, this is where I get to the map I would play. Like, I wouldn't mind playing it. I wouldn't mind playing it over and over and over, but I wouldn't mind playing it. Like, you know, each time. Like, once a game, I'll probably be cool. You see the other one? I wouldn't mind playing it over and over. It's like, I'm, I don't want to do it. Well, this one is pretty fun, pretty simple, pretty fun. The only real tedious thing is Saturn. 
The beginning part jump Saturn is a big problem. Other than that, it's not much of a problem at all. Everything else is pretty easy, just go through. Um, another, oh, another problem, I'm sorry, another problem is the, um, the middle part where you shoot stars at each people. I get it, you know, I like it, but sometimes you just, I just, it, the stars just hit me for some reason. It always hit me. And then the lasers push you off, so you gotta be careful with that. But then that's pretty much it. There are some that hit you, but you could really come back, in my opinion. You really could come back. You may be, I may be at the very back, but I could come back. I really like the force field. The force field is amazing. I like you pressing a button and changing the force field, and it's pretty cool. But other than that, it's pretty, pretty good of a map. I would keep playing it. One thing I kind of think they should change a little bit is have it more, <laughs> have it more obvious that the middle is not the way, the middle. It's like completely pointless. You could do it, but there's so many people going in the middle. You're not gonna get into the middle. You want to go to the side, and a lot of people don't go don't go to the side. So use that. Remember, go to the side, and let's go. <laughs> Alright, so that's it for number five. We are going to number four. Number four is hold up, short circuit. I like this one. This is my favorite racing map in season four because. Well, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Um, it's it's like you play Mario Kart before. It's like that. It's the first one with laps, I believe. You go around laps, and yes, the thing is simple, but it's like a race. You know, I like actual racing. Besides like getting to one point end to the other end, you go around laps and see how fast you could go. And for me, it's always a challenge if I could go past. The guy that's still on his first lap. That'd be amazing if I can. That just proves that I am faster and know how to do it. In the beginning, it is, you know, it's pretty cool. You just gotta go through the little places. And if you look to get on top, you might be forced. But there's always time for you to come back, honestly. If you do everything correctly, you can come back. Then when you go to the spinning, going up and down laser, it's kind of difficult for me at least because, like, every time I do it, the <laughs> the laser always had it for me. The laser always getting it at me. But everything else is pretty fine, honestly. Everything else is pretty good. See, you know, for the jumping is pretty easy, and the swinging one is honestly easy. But I always want the mega jump. I always want to get that mega jump. And that's why I keep losing because of the mega jump. If I never done that, I will probably win each time. But this one is a great one. I really like this one. But Let's get into the next map. Right. The next the next map, the next round. Number three. Alright, so number three. Gotta be Big Shots. Number three is Big Shots. I would prefer to play Big Shots. This I would say it is with the same problem. As the hoverboard heels, but well, for me, big shots is a bit more competitive. Where it will hit you more often. There's a little spot where you won't get hit, and that's just between the two canyons. The two canyons. It's pretty easy. Like in the gameplay, I might show me just being <laughs> there's one spot I won't die. You stay here, and if you see something coming at you, just move to the left, move to the right. But that's pretty much fun. To just stand right. Well, it's an easy win for me. That is, this one is an easy win, but it just like a give you a break win. Like there's some wins that are just boring break, like boring wins, and this one is like a give you give you a break. Like you've been through this intense battle of trying to get qualifying, and now you just got an easy easy one. I really like this one. But now and after number two, number two will be power trips yes the team game mode and if you didn't figure out that I love team game modes yeah I might be the only one that love team game modes but in my opinion a team game modes is fun it's a game mode it's a mini game which the races is just race right the survivors don't die and the puzzle is not even here <laughs> the puzzle is gone there's only one puzzle and it's gone and with team game mode, it's a game mode. This one is marking your territory. 
Yes, you marked your territory. I, this is, I really like this one. You marked your territory, you, I put my pain, yeah, it's marking your territory as a team. And if a team can mark the whole, or well, most of it, most of it, their color. And I like it. It's just, it's really fun. You just go around marking the place as your color and being like, this is my territory. What you doing here? It's mine. I really like it. And, um, I don't know. I just really like it. <laughs> it's just fun to me. Think, I don't know why people, people don't like Tinker modes because they lose. For me, I just want to have fun. I don't really care if I lose or if I win. You know, I, I don't, like, obviously I don't like things frustrating with 10 game modes. Nothing is really frustrating. If I fall by things I didn't think I should have been falling, then I'll be frustrated. But if I'm just knowing I lose because another person is, is better than me or my teammate couldn't do it, it's just, you know, it's not my fault, it's their fault. You know, it's not my fault or the game fault, it's their fault, so I wouldn't have to put the blame on them or on, on me or the game. You know, I, I like the game. I don't want to get the. I want to get mad at the game. I want to get mad at other people, and that's why I pick Power Chips as number two. He just, I like it, but it's not number one. And I'll tell you what is number one, and obviously the same maps and show to know. Number one is Basket Fall. Basket Fall. It's number one. So the real reason why Basket Fall. It's number one because it's a teen game mode. It is very much fun. <laughs> it's so fun. Like you, it's like have you watched the NBA before? If you didn't, don't just play basketball. Is you playing basketball? The only difference is that you don't dribble. You just carry the ball. And another difference is people will grapple you. But you just need to move. You wiggle your way out and then just bat, and just put it in. You could. It's awesome to make a shot because it's so difficult to make a shot. And if you can make a shot, that's amazing. You can make a shot, boom. You can dunk it in, boom. Do some 360, do some off the backboard, like that. But obviously, you know, no maps have it forwards. And I said the grappling is kind of oof. You know, there's, there's obviously some ways to do it. And the defense is kind of like low still. But for me, I'm just having fun. And I'm being on offense, I have fun. And if I'm being defense and trying to take the ball away, it's kind of fun to just snag the ball away from the person or put them down when it's trying to make the hoop. It's just fun in general. And this, this it's just this game mode. It's fun. I just like the game mode. I don't really see other people that didn't really like team game modes. I understand. Yeah, they want to win. For me, I just want to have fun. And that's for me is important. Team game modes will for real be the number one game mode for me. This is number one. And I'll see people would want to win. It's just not me. It's not me. I just it's like a mini game mode. I don't know why people didn't like mini game modes. I really like it. <laughs> but yeah, so if you want to recap everything, look back at the video because I probably forgot. I probably probably already forget the um ranking of the the um list but yeah well this is it for this video guys if you like this video subscribe like the video obviously and leave down comments i see in the next one